Hey guys, it's JRB542 or James, and I'm not doing a gameplay today. Um, I've been wanting to do this kind of video for a while now, and I had a specific request to do it, so here it is. As you can see in the title, I'm going to tell you guys how I capture my gameplay and my audio at once. Um, it's not too hard a system, it's not too bad. You can get pretty much all the things from a, like an electronic store, like Best Buy or, or maybe even Radio Shack, something like that. Um, but I had most of it sitting around, and after watching a video or two, I figured out how to do it. Um, I thought about doing like you know a whole video where I break down my whole system and put it back together for you guys, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm actually going to refer you to watch Titanium Gamers. Uh, how to video I'm um, the link is in the sidebar and in the information um, so I'm gonna put in like a 10 second pause here so you can pause my video and I want you to go watch his video on how to do it his is a two-part uh, it's very carefully explained and then after you watch his video I want you to come back and finish mine because I'm gonna talk about some differences between his and mine so um, alright now's when you pause it and gonna give you about 10 seconds of no time so pause your video and go watch titanium gamers video alright now that you've watched uh, his video we're going to talk about some key differences between his setup and mine. Um, in his setup, he had a Mac and he was using the iMac or whatever it was to record. And well, I've got an HP laptop. I've got a PC, a three-year-old HP. So I'm using the Dazzle as my video capture uh, device. Like he was using some kind of Mac proprietary, but I use the Dazzle as my setup it works the same way just the red white and yellow in and then it's a USB plug to my PC and then I'll just record from there um, my mixer I have a Stanton Stanton it's not as complicated as his, as his is it doesn't have as many options but it's still a two channel receiver with one input and a master out um, and so I use that to mix the audio together and as you saw his video he has like a traditional microphone on a stand um, I don't I use a headset microphone and it plugs right into the receiver just like his does um, and it seems to work pretty well I've had to tweak the receiver a lot to get a good balance but you know to each is his own I've all thought about getting more of a standard microphone but I, I never have um as far as like editing goes um I really don't like the Dazzle editing part. I like the Dazzle's um well Pinnacle Software is who does it. But I like their uh capture options cuz they're very um customizable to your liking. I still mess around with it. As you can see in some of my videos, the capture rate's a little different. There's not as much data in some as there is others. Like Wizards and Warriors, I was using on the highest standard of actually Windows Movie Maker. Um, and it's a little glitchy, but other than that, I use, uh, I've use i used Windows Movie Maker to capture my videos. Um, some of them. And that works pretty well. Um, I've, I like, I've switched back to using Pinnacle now. Um, I used it on my resistance follow man videos and so I think it turned out quite well um, I did download a trial software of um, magic studio something like that magic studio 5 I think and it was it was a good editing software I never used it to capture any capture any video but in one of my air combat 2 or ace combat 2 videos I did a dual screen video of Ace Combat 2 and Air Combat 1 and its editing software allowed me to uh, have two videos at once where Windows Movie Maker doesn't and I don't have a high enough software level from Pinnacle to be able to do two videos at once. Um, a free software I was trying was Video Edit Magic but the trial puts a tag 
across the top of your videos that say video edit magic trial something like that and the audio is kind of messed up so I didn't really like that I didn't mess around with that one too much um, I do use Windows Movie Maker to put them together or to edit and splice and you know all that and create my 10 minute so videos um, Pinnacle was weird it was kind of um, it created about three copies of each video file its own proprietary file to use with it. I didn't really like that. It took up a lot more space. So I use Windows Movie Maker to put them together. Um, I do have an external hard drive which I put all my stuff on. I got a Toshiba 250 gig so I store them all on there. Um, some stuff that I've seen online was like an HD um, capture video. It's from I don't know how to pronounce it but it's um I'll I'll put it I'll show what it is and I'll put the manufacturer but it can copy in high definition and can actually uh create AV CHD recordings which are what Blu-rays are based on um it looks pretty cool it's kind of expensive it's about 300 bucks um I saw it on Best Buy's website but it's very expensive it would be cool um but you definitely need a higher uh a higher than what I have um, processor in your laptop because mine's only a 1.8 it's a three year old laptop you need probably around a 2.2 or a 2.4 even to probably maximize this HD video recorder um, something else that I've seen because um, the switch box that I use is just like his you can only use the red white and yellow which is 480i video signal um, I saw a component to composite downgrader um, off a website and I'll put a picture of it up here and I'll put on the link too but it will uh, take component video which is blue green red and the audio is red and white which can carry a high definition signal and it'll actually pass through the component video and it will output composite so it'll downgrade your 1080i signal to a 480i so it bring the bring it to the switch box and then you know and then allow you to watch high definition on your TV. So I've got a Samsung LCD that I play on. So that would be cool with me. Um, it's 50 bucks. It's not very expensive, but I'm just not sure if running the video through one more thing would mess up the sync of the audio and the video. I don't know. I haven't really noticed anything except once out of all the videos, and it was like for a minute that the audio got off. But as of right now I haven't had to sync the audio back to the video or anything like that um, so that's just a few things that um, I've looked at and thought I mean you guys are welcome to give feedback if you try them out I'd love to see you make a video of it I'll watch it and just leave some feedback if you've got anything any kind of suggestions on the system I can't really see any way to improve it not with stuff that I currently own but um, and I've filled up the space in my switch box. I've got my NES, my Super NES, my PS2, and my newest edition, my PS3. So, But, alright guys, that's going to conclude this video. Um, hope you guys can set it up, make sure it works, you know, record your own videos, put them on YouTube. If you got some questions, just leave them in the feedback, or you can even ask Titanium Gamer, because that would be cool, because he's where He's where I got uh, the idea to do this and how to set it up. So, but, alright guys, I'll catch y'all later. Um, I'm not sure what actual game I'm going to be doing. I've gotten some suggestions from someone. Um, I'm going to look over those and uh, maybe pull one of those out. I might do Resistance. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe something else. Maybe another classic uh, well, an older game from that, about that release time. We'll see. Maybe, maybe. But, alright guys, this is James, or JRB542, and y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Later.